Hey everyone, this is James, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. Um, I decided to go f find a Spearow, and I found one, like, right away. I just walked one tile, and I found one. So, I'm gonna try to catch this. I hope Everglade doesn't kill it. If Everglade kills it, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, here we go. Even though Spearows are not that hard to find, I'm just saying, I just don't want to go through the extra effort to find a Pokemon like this. Um... Anyways, let's go catch it. This is basically how you catch a Pokemon. You weaken it down, you put it to red health or as low health as you can, you throw a Pokemon and just hope for the best. Again, if you had a Hoothoot, by the way, Hoothoots would be really useful to catch Pokemon like this. You can use Hypnosis to put uh, Pokemon to sleep, and if Pokemon has a status condition, they can be even easier to catch. Spearow, the tiny bird Pokemon, to protect its territory, it flies around ceaselessly, making high-pitched cries. Give a nickname to Spearow. I will give it a nickname. So I decided to name it Penny, because Penny is a nice name, isn't it? I believe so. Anyways, we're done here. Um, again, if you want to catch a Fampy, uh, go right ahead. Just, uh, just note that it's going to be a little difficult to catch. Um, I'm not going to go catch it, but I did catch it once before, and it was pretty amazing. I actually like, oh my god, I caught a Fampy. What a fantastic thing I just realized. Now, now we're gonna go to Route 30. I'm gonna go heal, and I'm gonna send Penny out front, because, yeah. And also, it's also good to note that, uh, Spiro knows Peck, and actually, Pidgey doesn't know anything about flying-type moves, so I think that's also another good thing for Spiro, that it knows flying a flying-type move already. Alright, so we're gonna pass the Mart. I'm gonna hope that I don't run into anything that's poison related. And we're gonna go over the Pokemon that we can find. The first thing you can find is Caterpie. Caterpie is a basic bug. Um, if you want a Caterpie, go right ahead, but there's better bug type Pokemon you can find. Um, that's really good, actually. I just don't recommend Caterpie because Caterpies are just the eh, they're, they're, they're just there. They're just they're vibing and stuff. They just wanna they just wanna chill. But if you want to catch one, then go right ahead. I don't really have much to say about Caterpie, and also Caterpies are not really good for the gym leader that you're going to fight, so yeah, don't go for that right now, unless you just unless you just want to keep it in the background, you know, just keep it, you know, why not? You can also find a Metapod, but only in the gold version. Um, I, it's like, uh, don't really catch a Metapod because it only knows Harden. It's better to catch a Caterpie and then evolve it to a Metapod because so it can like keep tackle. So yeah, just just be careful. Just d don't even pay attention to the metapods. Next Pokemon you can find is a Weedle. Um, Weedles are marginally better than Caterpies because they can use Poison Sting, which can have a chance to poison your Pokemon. It can be annoying, but if you catch it, you can actually have a status inflection. But it's not the best to go for because it can it can faint your it can faint Pokemon over time. So yeah, it's not the best thing to go for. Kakuna's the same thing as I said for about Metapods. It's better to catch a Weedle, evolve it, and to keep the moves prior to Kakuna. Um, like, yeah, just, yeah. I think Kakuna's and Metapods are only good for XP stuff. And Kakuna's you can only find in the Silver version, so that's also for that. I also want to go over that there is a area in the game where you can go to where you can find these Pokemon without any, without any problems whatsoever, as far as I know. So just remember that. <laughs> It's, it's later in the game, but you'll you'll get to it. In the next Pokemon, you would actually try to f you might find this in a cave more than out here because there's a five percent chance in finding this thing is a Zubat. Zubats are annoying and they're not that good. Um, if you evolve it, however, it can be very good. It's just a pain. It's just a pain actually to train the Zubat all the way to a Golbat and say, "Wow, all this for a Golbat, man." But it's usually just caught for a Crobat, which is new in Gen 2. So if you want a Crobat, then catch a Zubat, make it make it your best friend, and you'll be able to get a Crobat just like that. Next Pokemon, Poliwag. You can only find this in the Pokemon Crystal version in uh, Crystal version. Zubat as well, you can find Zubat as well in Crystal. Let me just say that before I go off. So again, Poliwag. Is a 20% chance at nighttime. I don't know why at nighttime. I don't understand it. Maybe it's because frogs are nocturnal, basically. I don't know. That's completely up to chance, I guess. But Poliwag's a good water type. 
If I didn't have a Toradile, I would probably catch this thing and just just to have a water type. Because why not? You know, it's a water type. So it's a good Pokemon to have. But I, since I have Toradile, it's not really a good Pokemon for me. But if you need a water type, then this is a really good early Pokemon to get. So go ahead, go get it. <laughs> Next Pokemon is a Ladybug. Do not waste your time catching a Ladybug. A Ladybug is really weak and a really pathetic Pokemon. It's only good when you evolve it, but even then, it's just not that good, actually. It's good with special defense when it evolves, but that's basically it, uh, and everything else is just bad. So I don't recommend catching Ladybug. And you can only find this in silver and crystal, so people with gold, yeah, don't, don't worry about it. And the last Pokemon you can find is a Spinarak. Spinarak is not too good, but it's better than Ladybug, so I guess gold gold version players pretty much have a better end of the stick with that one. It evolves to Ariados. Ariados is a really good Pokemon, but I'm talking about Spinarak. Spinarak is... It knows, po it knows poison type moves, and, and that's all I can say about it. It's pretty frail. It's a bug type. It's, it's whatever. If you want it, then go right ahead. It's a 30% chance to find at night, so have fun with that. Um... Silver players, you're not going to really find it, but crystal players and gold players, you will definitely find it. So, have fun. Go find it. It's super effective. So, this is what you usually see if you use a good uh, type against another type. You get double the damage, basically, and since it's the same type attack bonus, it does a little bit more than that. That's why Penny is doing a lot of damage for a level 2 against a level 4. And Caterpie's down. And how much XP we get? We get a level, th we get a level up from that, actually. And that's it. Well, that's fine. I think we can get another level up if we find another Caterpie. So I'm going to go train up a little bit more, and then I will see you guys later. Ooh, a critical hit. Okay, so a critical hit basically just doubles the damage as well. And it also ignores any stat changes from the Pokemon that's using the move. And as well, actually, as as well as all, actually, I think it just avoids all status status uh, changes or stat changes. I mean, so it's a really strong thing, and I like that. I I just love when I get a critical hit, but I don't like it when it's dealt to me. Super effective, and I think Penny's gonna be good on this one. There you go. Penny did really well. Penny gained another level, level 4. I don't know if you learn anything new. No, you don't. And I think that's good for Penny. Um, so now, we're getting to our to our second trainer battle. And before I do anything, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give berries to Penny and Everglade before I forget. Because berries are still useful, I kinda wanna use them up as I have them. So here's our first trainer battle. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Our first trainer battle, and he's calling us weak. Not first trainer battle, but you know what I mean. Youngster Joey wants to battle. Yes, Joey. With the top percentage of Rattatas. I say Rattatas. Some people say Rattatatata, whatever the how they say it. It's really weird. I'm going to use Growl, because I'm going to lower its attack. Ooh. I thought you were going to do less damage than that, but that is not the case. And now the berry takes into effect, and we gain our HP back just a little bit. I'm going to use one more growl. I want to make sure that he doesn't do any damage to me. I think he's going to do two damage now. And now I will be set up. I hope Penny can actually hit hard. If Penny can't, then that's kind of weird. I'm going to have to switch out. Oh, that was a crit. Oh. I'm surprised Penny's like doing all these crits, and I think I'm gonna go down next turn. Yeah, I think I am gonna go next down next turn. So you can use potions during battle. Some people don't like doing that. I don't care. I only don't like using potions or anything like that if I'm doing a gym battle. But when it comes to trainer battles like this, I don't care. <laughs> and that defense, and that oh, okay, and that tail would pretty much just cancel out my growls. So. Doesn't matter now, I took it out, and Penny probably probably gonna gain a level out of it, yep. 
Penny's level 5. Youngster Joey has been defeated. Heck, I lost again. Doggone it. Yep. I don't know anyone that says that anymore. So, what I'm going to do with trainer battles, basically, if I can avoid them, then I will try to avoid them. And if I get caught by them, I will cut it out. But this trainer is a required battle. Um, so, there's no escaping it. So that's, that's when I would like to show trainer battles. That's pretty much my rule when it comes to trainers. If I can avoid them, I will. I'll fight them off screen and then I'll just go on from there. So you have a Pidgey level 2 and it's almost dead already. And also stat changes, um, they revert back to normal after every battle or if you switch out. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you, if you got your defenses lowered like 6 stages, I think it's the best idea just to switch out, just to make sure that you do not really get dominated from the other Pokemon. Just better that way, a little, little, little bit to know about that. And I did not do anything about that Rattata. I think I tried to use Growl, I think that's what I said, I don't know, I wasn't really reading. But now it's doing Tail Whip, which is really kind of, uh. But I think Penny has it. Yeah, Penny got it, yep. She's a good girl, she knows what to do. Youngster Mikey has been defeated, so now we defeated two po uh, two trainers, and now we get to move on. Trainer tips: No stealing other Pokemon people's Pokemon. Pokeballs are only meant to be thrown by wild Pokemon. Yes, do not throw Pokeballs at other trainer Pokemon because first of all, you'll waste a turn, and second of all, you'll waste a Pokeball. And I just ran into that. I forgot there was a trainer there. Ah, you're too strong. Yeah, me with a bird Pokemon. You are a bug catcher, and I don't think you know how type advantages work. Anyways, this is round 31. You can. F I don't know if you can find different Pokemon here, but future me is going to tell you otherwise. Now, round 31 does, is not really different with Route 30, except for two new Pokemon. First off, we got Bellsprout. Bellsprout is a really nice Pokemon. And Gold and Silver is level 3. But in Crystal, it's level 5. Yeah, two whole levels. That's amazing. But, I honestly like Bellsprout. I never used it before though, but it's a very solid Pokemon to go with your team if you don't have a grass type. But I recommend just not using it for the gym that's coming up. So, like keep it in the back end of the party and just avoid using it until you're done with the first gym. Alright, so that's all I have to say about Bellsprout, honestly. But, the next Pokemon is a Ghastly. It's a level 5 as well, but you can only find it at night and it's 5%, so it's kind of difficult to find Ghastly out in Route 31. But if you do find it, then it's a good Pokemon. Um, Ghastly is going to be very helpful later on in the game when you go to the third gym. Just, just a little bit. I I'm going to tell you about it. I think a lot of people know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to keep it in suspense for a, for a few people that have not known this game. But Ghastly is nice. The only thing that has going wrong with it is it has a really weak move, which is a lick, and it can't affect normal type moves. So it's better for, the, for it to learn Smog or any other moves that it can learn that it's not a ghost type move and go on from there. It's also better to say that, hey, you should get a friend because this is also a trade evolution. Yes, if you get a Ghastly, make sure you can trade it. If you can trade it in, when it's a Haunter into a Gengar, it's going to be a really good Pokemon. But since I don't have anyone to trade with, this is not going to be really good for me. So if you have someone to trade with, or if you have yourself to trade with, you have two Game Boys or whatever, then go right ahead, you can do that. But since uh, during this time and like the ye what year it is, I, it's really hard to get trading stuff together in order to trade in Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Gold. So, but if you can do that, then that's good. You know, that's really good. You you have a lot more stuff than I do. <laughs> I got, uh, but I, I'm just kidding. Anyways, Ghastly is a good Pokemon. Um, pick it out if you want or not. Dark Cave. Oh, it's called Dark Cave, not Dark Tunnel. I'm dumb. I mean, I did say Dark Cave. I don't remember what I said three minutes ago. I am sorry. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. So that's pretty much a... Pretty much the game telling you there is a move for that. So I'm going to go in anyways. I'm going to look. 
Oh, Dark Cave. My favorite cave in this game. Because I can't see anything. I don't know what's going on. The first Pokemon you can find is a Dunsparce. <laughs> Dunsparce are not good. Um, I don't know why you would waste time getting it. It's a 1% chance of getting it, and it says Swarm. According to Bulbapedia, this is how this is how good I am, you know. I'm just reading off of Bulbapedia at this point. I'm just doing this as quickly as possible because I actually have to do something real quick. And I'm just listing off things as fast as possible. But you don't need to know that. I don't know why I'm saying things. But Dunsparce is not a good Pokemon. If you want a normal type Pokemon and you you want one now, don't get a Dunsparce. It's not worth it. You can find a Teddy Ursa at 5% in the morning. In, for a normal type. It's not as bulky, but God, it's it, it's a 5% chance. It's easier to find than a Dunsparce. You do not need a Dunsparce. A Teddy Ursa is much better, and it evolves into an Ursaring. It's a bear. A bear, I say. It can do things. It can murder anything it can see. But honestly, Teddy Ursa is a good Pokemon. I recommend getting it. I have never caught a Teddy Ursa, but Teddy Ursa... It's a good Pokemon, once you get it up to Ursaring. So, yeah. Have fun with it. Do not get Dunsparce, though. Not good Pokemon. Dark Cave. You cannot see anything here. In Gen 3, 4, and whatever, every like all, every Gen after Gen 2, they just say, Hey, we're, we're just gonna give you a circle of light. We're not gonna just, like, put everything pitch black. And I don't know why the outside world is doing that. I don't know why it's flickering like it's a light bulb. Anyways, I think there is a glitch where you can go to uh, where you can go to your menu and select whatever, and you can see something for a split second. Now I don't know if you can see it. I can barely see it. It's like a half second. You can see something, but I'm not gonna do that. I am going to leave. <laughs> I'm gonna get Flash, and we're gonna do something about that later. <laughs> uh huh. I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. And he falls asleep. Alright. You do you, buddy. It's a fruit bearing tree. Hey, it's a bitter berry. Bitter berry. I don't know what that does. I think that cures confusion if I believe. If I believe hard enough. Yes, it does. It it cures confusion. But we're not really gonna run into anything that's gonna actually confuse us. I'm gonna avoid this guy. I'm gonna get this item. It's a Pokeball, so we just replaced the Pokeball that we used on Penny, so that's good. And Penny's level 7. What a... And Penny knows Leer, so now we have something to lower defenses. And I like lowering defenses more than lowering attack, so it's a lot better. Um, later in the game, you won't really be worrying much about status changes unless it goes with the move. So for example, Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball has like a defense, a special defense drop. So you would definitely use that as a secondary effect. Because using a status, using a, using a stat reduction move, just doing that, it, it's just a, it's just a waste of turn. It's better just to damage the Pokemon much more. So, anyways, we're in Violet City. I'm going to end it off here because I don't know how long I've been going because I am really bad with timers. Next time we're going to be exploring the town, city, whatever. It's a city. It's a city. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you later.